Yeah, that you was just, me realizing. You used the rusty key. <laughs> that was me realizing. Oh yeah, there is a blue door there. Fuck. <laughs> Again, I will not um, divulge how long I was up and down that stairs around those doors trying to find progress. That's fine, man. Like as I said, first time playing through any kind of action hack and slash game, there's going to be some teething. I think you're also you're kind of allowed that kind of time to to bed yourself in and get used to it too. Like it, like the the first level yeah. is like it, like go and have like fill your boots up type level, you know. So it does make sense to do it that way. Oh, there's the taunt. Yeah, come at me, symbols. Yes. Don't worry, I will figure out how this works soon. Of course you will, dude. Oh, this is great. Though. I'm fucking loving this, man. <laughs> I can actually hear it off you. You're you're Jenny buzzing off this. I love it. I'm looking forward to you finding something I've never seen. Possibly. That, uh, that might happen. I, I'm trying to think, is there something that you would have missed? Probably not. But oh, it's probably something like you expect probably. me to miss, maybe. Now that we I like the foreshadowing here. Yes. Just the puppets hanging upstairs. That's a, yeah, that's what I liked about it. I was kind of waiting for them, like, well, are they doing anything? Apparently not. And this is a puzzle in the Devil May Cry series. <laughs> with your fucking sword. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like, well, this is a puzzle. I'm all right with this. It's like, if the answer to everything is just, like, use your sword. Like, cool, that's fine. What was that fucking answer? That's the answer to every problem. Remember that game I even showed? in the real world, the answer is use your fucking sword. Get your sword, yeah, exactly. Um, what was them? Yeah, was remember that? What, remember that game Dreamweb? Um, I think we watched a playthrough of it once, and like you know, like it had like a really cool gimmick and good setup, and the first half of the game was brilliant, and then the lads who were making it got really bored and just like phoned in the second half, and decided like, oh, the solution oh, yeah. to every every puzzle now is just shoot them, just just shoot them. <laughs> like the actual, like genuinely good puzzles put into it in the first half, and the second half is just like, fuck it, whatever, man. Yeah. Well, I think the main part of this game is not the puzzles, it is the combat. Yes, absolutely. And the game plays to its strengths. Hmm. And then it includes platforming. Yes. Nice. Oh, oh, he's. Oh, I saw that come. Nice one. <laughs> You'll notice I, I learned two tricks early on, and I rely heavily on them. <laughs> Jump and stab. Yes. Two of my favorite really? motions. Something that you did very well there was you took out the shotgun guy really early. Mm. But yes, I, I think it's right for you to assume that I had a plan there. Um, I think that really <laughs> helps. Oh, no, no, I know, you, I know you did that like purely by fluke. <laughs> yes. Because uh, yeah, if you don't take hit the Jackman guy, he can whittle away like quarter of your health in a second, and he's yes. really aggressive. He attacks you even when he's off screen. Yeah, the, I remember the red ones being absolute fuckers. Yeah, bloody marionettes. They're the powered up guys. Mm. Uh, I love the graphics that you can see the strings as well. Mm. I suppose, like, yeah, I think that I, we are playing the PS4 version as well, so it's actually, like, they're so much more obvious now, too. Like, you actually just say, here are the strings, you know, which is great. Uh, I, I think I can recall them being in the original. I said they are. That's it, though. It's, it's a while since I've actually broken out the PS2 to play it, so. Mm, this is it. So, well, the enemy design, whoa, that's not bad. 2951? That, that, that is from me trying to, like, figure out where to go and then getting, basically getting lost twice, so. Yeah, I'm sure I, I mean, that's, that's the first stuff. Yeah. To be honest with you, when you said I'm not telling you how long it took, I was expecting way longer. For real? <laughs> Yeah, 
The judge of death. Judge of death. Ah, uh, when they call it magic. Ah, uh, devil star. Yeah. <laughs> it does kind of have that, like the, the actual text there. Sometimes is like it, it's, it makes it sound like someone like is taking the piss out of it. It's like it's a star with magical powers. Okay, <laughs> like someone being really sarcastic. <laughs> about it. Yeah, the thing is though, like you're not meant to take this game seriously. The game oh, doesn't no. take this game seriously, which is something that you know. Again, I fucking love to high have mm. this Again, much it, cheese that like. I don't think this game, like, again, because it's the first in the series, I'm willing to kind of give it a pass on a few things. So I don't think it, like, really commits to the cheese completely just yet. It's still kind of like, ooh, like, you're not sure which direction it's going in. But, like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, this game feels like it was earnest, yet, yes. and kind of, like, tongue in cheek. Later, just go, okay, yeah, we, the first game was not serious. Let's make him ride a motorcycle up a building. Totally, yeah. Now that they get, now that they know, like, in a way, they know that what audience they have too. It's just like, oh, these, this is what the people want too. So let's give them what they want. <laughs> let's give them bollocks. Well, our, audi our audience is mostly idiots. <laughs> our market analysis says the IQ is less than 50. What do people with IQ like of, of 50 like? Motorbikes and buildings. Let's combine the two. And beautiful women that talk down to us. Nice. That was actually well played. Lucky. Yeah, there's not much of a stagger feature in this game. Mm. Like, you can't interrupt enemy attack as much. Yeah, later, on, later on, like, it does oh. get more technical. Stabbing the back, lads. Terrible. Yeah. Ooh. Bad choice. Oh. I learned that. As I say, going from the continue is generally just a better idea. The yellow warps, they do nothing but cost you your items. Yeah, this is the thing, like, because I, as I said, like, this is the, uh, on the on the second playthrough, I do, like, favor that instead, favor the start again proper anyway. But later on, like, as I kind of get to the sharp end, like, I want to keep my kind of, <laughs> I just want to get the level done. But knowing the levels get longer, I just like, I'm not doing this boss again. Fuck the, fuck that. I'll, I'll use the yellow yeah. orb that's there, you know. So I do kind of, I get a little bit smart and, about it. I don't use up items completely. I'll save it for like the save it for round two as a work. And let me say, ladies and gentlemen, you have got to fucking admire Jonathan for not asking me how like any hit the trick. And more than that, for me not spoiling for him because mm. it's very tempting to do so. Yeah, I don't. But so you know he went in blind, otherwise he would know not to do this. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, like I, I think for full disclosure, there's like there's one or two things that like stumped me enough to say where to like to look up where do I go, and then about after that, then it was just me trying to actually clear the game. So, uh, and whatever else I explore then is is kind of on on tape then essentially. Wait for it. Mm hmm. Sculpture of a female. <laughs> Man, I love this. So, Alistar, what do you think of him? I dig it. I dig. I dig the sword. Nice. <laughs> it's quite an introduction, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. So, do you want, you want your, your trivia version too? <laughs> <laughs> it's if anything like this is exactly how Tina operates. This is like, oh, you're here, bam, hit you in the chest. <laughs> now you must let me go through you. Uh, cheers. Yeah, this is the part where like his head gets impaled by the wing. They could have done better with the graphics there. <laughs> yeah, it's not that it, it's the blood as well. Like it's it, like the actual it, the actual pixels of blood he's he's gushing there. You know. Still super cheesy, super yes. So, thing but before I give you this, mm. before I give you any trivia, um, have you read the manual for the game? I haven't. I like again. I, I went to this game completely blind. Okay. Okay. 
I don't think I want to give you this trivia then. You won't get it. There is story hidden in the manuals. Right. We can wait till a later stage in the series. Okay, fine. <laughs> well, perhaps even for the people at home who might be actually interested in the series. Well, no, 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 I'm treating this as unlockable. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you're going to have to get tell Jonathan to get good if he wants to <laughs> unlock my knowledge. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I like. Okay, this is the meta game to the to the play to the play series now. It's just like, well, if you want to know more about the series, you're going to play better. Get good, son. <laughs> start. Well, so you got to be start right studying. Here. You're gonna have to start <laughs> studying. You can't go on. You can't go on to calculus two until you pass calculus one. I'm just no, saying. That, that is that's a fair observation. I like that. It's like, well, you got a B rank at that level, which means you unlock some of my tier two mm -hmm. trivia. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know gaming? I like I like that as a concept. It's like if you play better, you'll find out more about the game. Otherwise, you're just gone in there in there bollock first, hoping for the best. If you get one S rank, then I'll make the first episode in my series of Devil May Cry <laughs> trivia. <laughs> You'll do with Welcome me. to Adam's Devil May Cry retrospective. Oh, do you know what the sad thing is? I think I do get an S rank. Oh my god, so I have to make one of these. No, but here's oh, the thing. I, the reason I say this is because I don't know if it's recorded or not. Well, we can only hope. Hmm, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm right. Ooh, this little tree. Where are you going? Mm. Happy little tree. Happy little tree. I'm just going to leave that right there. I'm going to leave that tree right here and it's just going to grow into the library, you know, because it's a happy little tree. It can grow whatever it wants, you know. Nature is fine. You know, Nature's it's happy. One, one day, one day, maybe he can become a book of his own. Hmm. Jesus, that's dark. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one tree will kill him. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, it is, is a bit weird. Organ, does it? The, 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 the tree is coming into the library where all the other paper lives. It's like, Mother? Father? Are you here? <laughs> yes, son. I'm now an encyclopedia. <laughs> well, it's better than being just in paper's autobiography. Yeah, that's what well. <laughs> That's what to say. Imagine all the trees that have to go to really bang average books. Oh, uh, that's, that's me. Like, Steve Bruce wrote three novels. They had to print paper to do that. Like, that, that should have been written on fucking cardboard. Yeah. Maybe it was. Uh, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to fangir... What, you're, you're leaving the shotgun? Ah. Yes. In this first playthrough, I don't realise there's a shotgun there. Yeah. You didn't break everything. I did not break everything. Second playthrough, very different story. Now you'll notice you're doing far more damage with Alistair. Mm. Oh, Alistair's class. There's also the speed as well. Like the fact that like you're just getting so much more hits in compared to your normal sword. It's the same move set as Force Edge. Yeah, it's more or less the same. It's just the speed is different, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, do you want to know something funny? Mm -hmm. Force Edge is considered uh, one of the strongest swords and uh, like in the mythos of the games. After playing the full game, I can see why. The reason why Dante took Force Edge with him was because he, he knew that he was going to face like the strongest demon. Yeah. That kind of makes sense. At least that's the retroactive continuity. It's not that yeah. this was the first game and that was the sword they designed. And Force Edge just sounds cool. I know Force Edge is cool. Like Force Edge sounds enough to be like a power, like a power, power thirst uh, flavor, you know. <laughs> power thirst called Force Edge. Force Edge. That ah! is awakening. Ah! Now no longer affiliated with rapists. Force <laughs> Edge. Little <laughs> Force Edge. <laughs> My God, oh, just lie comfort. down and he won't hurt you. <laughs> Canyons! 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 40,000 canyons! <laughs> wow, that is a reference. 400 babies! <laughs> Give power to your babies and we'll run as fast as canyons! 
Kenyans. They'll get sent back to Kenya. <laughs> oh, that was such early internet. <laughs> I really didn't know what to do. Did you anything? Oh, we could have done to be fair. Yeah. Back, back before entertainment was watching us play Devil May Cry only on Monday Madness. Indeed, subscribe for more. Um, <laughs> we actually should get more plugs in, to be honest. Like, we're, we're starving here, lads. Oh, uh, we, we, we don't need them. We don't need them. No, we don't. We, we've got our loyal fan. We do. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, the door. The door was right there. I know. I, I, I was trying to jump to the other one. I thought that was a, I was, there was a thing there. There is. I like how you still have devil triggered. Ah, you see, at this part of the game, I didn't think that was a, didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. That's when you read the manual. Yes. Ooh. You have chosen. Oh, Boy. Yes, I know. Looking retroactively, because again, there would have been like a week or two difference between my first and second playthrough. So I was thinking like, when I look back at the footage back on like, oh wow. That was almost certainly the wrong answer. <laughs> uh, when you realize so how funny. like how, how how crucial the items are in this game, that's so important. Oh, yeah. kind of you know? And the fact that you can buy them early on, but you don't realize just how much more expensive to get. Yeah, that's it. Although I can see like the in a way the incentive is that if you ace through the early levels, then you build up quite a healthy amount of orbs to spend on those items you can keep in reserve then so you can like hypothetically piss through the final levels quicker but then again like um do you really get the satisfaction of like relying on the weapons that much or is it just a case if you just wanted to get the game fucking done and like done awesomely uh you really didn't enjoy this did you I, I still have very, very mixed views on it i think it's because i wasn't patient enough with it you know i just wanted to i just wanted to get it recorded you know so when the game wasn't like as uh, obliging with it, you know, it's welcoming. Like, oh. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not as uh, user friendly as modern games might be. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, that, that's fair. To, to be fair, like you're doing well. Yeah, you you'll see once you you'll notice later on. Then when I kind of kick into it, like actually, I've got the skill set there now. <laughs> after like a second or third time around in the game. You know, it's just I think in the first one it was just like I, I, to be fair, this this part I was actually kind of enjoying because I was kind of getting I was getting the hang of it in a sense. It was actually just when the bosses kick in, it was just like that was when the, the frustration kind of kicked in a bit. But um, but that was grand. It was the, the midsection, the midsection of the game I enjoyed because it was just the the like the pure action of it. And then just when it started like um getting more let's say creative with the bosses, that's when it was like you've lost me again. Um, but. <laughs> Not the game's fault. It's me just not giving enough time, but like patience to actually try stuff out. You know, I had my way of doing things, and I wasn't I wasn't changing, and I was just getting annoyed that it wasn't working. <laughs>